Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. What's going on, guys? Nick C here from the Sticky Socks, and welcome to today's video. So today we're talking about the 320 drops inside Iron Banner. So the first thing we have is the Hackon's Hatchet, which is the new auto rifle. This comes at 313, and all these stuff range from 310 to 320. This is one of those sadly auto rifles with a really high rate of fire and low impact. Next up we have the Iron Banner Shell. Now this drops at 320 for this lucky person. These can also actually drop as a post game reward at rank 4. So the next thing we have is the Covalent's Duty. It's a really nice scout rifle by the looks of it. It's got the exact same variant as Gellin's Demise. One of those low rate of fire, high impact. Gellin's Demise, by the way, is the Iron Banner Year 1 scout rifle. Then we have the Iron Wreath, as you all know about. Probably the best side arm in Destiny. Dropping at 318 for this lucky guy. So next up then we have the Waylorn, Waylorn, Waylorn's March. Jesus. <laughs> 310 to 320 yet again but sadly one of those high rate of fire low impact sniper rifles then we have probably my favorite item the iron banner helmet for the titan and my god you look like one medieval badass in this thing and equally the exact same with the warlock helmet yet again the iron banner design with this gear looks insane i love the look of the kind of medieval style it looks really really nice and the last piece of gear i have to show for you guys is the iron banner legs these drop it again between 310 and 320 they look awesome as well and i'm looking forward to getting all my characters up to um up to iron banner and getting all this stuff so first of all i just want to outline some of the things and some of the qualifications for gear so as i said the ghost shells can also can also drop as a post-match reward after hitting rank 4 and all the drops range from 310 to 320 which is not bad it's a good option for everybody who can't find a raid group and is too afraid of trials of osiris now important is that the rewards qualification so as soon as you hit a specific rank on one of your other characters the post game rewards are adjusted for all your different characters so for so example your main character is rank 3 and your alt character is ranked nothing your alt character is qualified to drop an armor piece or weapon as a post game reward so the iron banner drops are working as following the post game rewards for rank 2 and above is just armor sold by lord saladin and they range from light level 280 to 310 Rank 3 and above is armor and weapons sold by Saladin, which is 280 to 310. Rank 4 and above is armor and weapons sold by Saladin, yet again 280 to 310, plus the Iron Banner Shell, which drops between 310 and 320. The rank 3 package then, it drops 4 modes of life, 4 coins, and a random rare artifact with 310 light, which can be used as infusion fuel for any other characters who don't have their artifact taken from the Queen Quest. Rank 5 post game rewards then is the Iron Banner Ghost Shell, either from 310 to 320, you are guaranteed to get that Ghost Shell from that package. Now obviously the light level varies, just like the Raid RNG, and you get a random item from the Iron Banner set, which can be a weapon or a piece of armor that is between 310 and 320. So guys, that's all I have on the Iron Banner gear at the moment. Please like and subscribe, and remember, stay sticky, Guardians.